and spamming like crazy. Uh, this is what usually happens in a 2v2v2, like I said before. And there might be a big fight going on right now. I'm going to slow this down and see what's going to happen. It looks like here come the M16s. So they're going to be dropping units like crazy. I'm going to see if Strong can actually get some kills. It looks like he's got bombed on. Looks like he lost some units, not that many. Uh, it looks like that attack will be stopped. It will be pushed back. Uh, let's see if any more thing any more air goes down. It looks like they were actually trying to bomb the Jacksons, but he has seven of them. And uh, just because you kill one Jackson, the other six will do their job more than likely. It looks like uh, this Maz, these two Mazes are completely obliterating these Jacksons. Uh, but he has three more in the back ready to take. Oh, and two big explosions. Those Jacksons drop one shotted by those Mazes or Mouse, Mouses, whatever you want to call them. But he's got a couple more to push up forward. He actually, if he focus fires these Jacksons. Oh, two more go down. Plus, we're going to see some fighter bombers. They're actually going to take this up, but the M16s might be able to drop them before it's too late. And there goes another Jackson right there. Another Jackson goes down. Now he only has three. He only has two Jacksons. If this next Jackson gets taken down, he only has two Jacksons. And there's more artillery coming. That artillery strike actually going to take that vehicle out as well. These two mouse or mozzes are going to destroy uh, these Jacksons, especially with this extra added uh, airstrike going on. But if these Jacksons keep pushing, they could. Oh, why are you shooting the Puma? Who cares about a 30 year old? Girl, kill the Moses. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm joking about, um, a cougar or a puma is like a, a young, is not a, is not a cougar. A puma is like a 30 year old woman. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get off that topic since I'm watch, trying to watch Ruse and not talk about this. But anyway, uh, that's just my little joke. Um, so we got three Jacksons here. These Jacks Jacksons can still take these mouses out but here come the ju 87s fighting in force are gonna drop the bomb on these mouses it's two more jackson fires and still the super heavy tank doesn't drop these things are beasts here comes a fighter bomber slowly coming in it's gonna take out that unit actually before it even swoops in that's some pretty crazy graphics right there apparently the bomb is so fast i don't even get to see it drop and that one shot right there taking a heavy tank whoa two more taking there we go there goes the mouse and here comes the bombing run here's the thing i wanted to see the most i'm going to see this in super slow mo these are the things i wanted to watch i've never watched these things actually airstrike before but i know they're fast and deadly here comes one one gets taken out but it drops its payload i want to see it drop its second payload where's the second payload and that was not very memorable uh i had higher hopes for that unit and I got very disappointed very fast and it looks like it's gonna blow up in flames uh, I'm pretty not impressed with that as I always say the German air is not very good and that's a clear indication of that is their best bombing unit and it didn't even kill this armor base uh, a medium to a medium a light bomber of the Mitchell should I believe can drop in one shot a building I know for sure a uh, British can drop in one spot one attack uh, so I would say Germany do not get planes unless you are steamrolling your opponent uh, it looks like somehow Mad Mad has actually pushed across the map and is possibly gonna take this HQ if this happens I'll be very surprised but I doubt it's gonna happen since he has no money no nothing he's actually trying to build something well, let's see what he's trying to build he's trying to build a forward barracks up there uh, so he's pretty much in deep trouble I don't understand why SCX just doesn't um, just doesn't bomb him and take his HQ or just bomb his units, take his HQ and end this uh, for him. Again, he has no admins. There's no admins in play. He has no admins. Zero admins. None. Another field. Yes, he has no admins. This is the reason why. This is the reason why that uh, Wolfie and uh, Strant can get these units, can sit there all day and just spam Jacksons because they have all this money. Uh, they have all of these admins. He has one, two, three, four. Uh, I guess he started building units instead of making admins, and he has three himself. There's seven admins on one team. Late game, that's going to be proven huge since all these uh, depots are, aren't even taking over. But they're still in second place by a lot, only because the fact that SCX stole the base of an opponent. Um, and all that uh, Itsumi's been doing is just sitting there uh, taking on uh, uh, bombing runs and stopping them. Uh, so pretty much... Uh, 
they need to start taking these JU uh, 872s and start attacking uh, these Mouses and stuff like that and try and getting points. But there's so many Wurble wins on this field. I think there's one, two, there's three of them. These three Wurble wins will be able to take out a few uh, J872s or 80 or JU87, J872s, JU87s. Uh, how many does he have here? He's got about can't really see them because it's got one two three four five six seven eight eight I think if I count those correctly uh, ju 87s if I were him I would try and just uh, two at a time aim for the AA and take it out and then let his teammate a uh, strong come across with that art with that with those bombers and take out this artillery base and this armor base and this proto base and completely nullify him and then they can just go ahead and bomb away and start killing him i'm surprised actually right now that uh that he hasn't let that uh, scx hasn't even let uh his teammate just take this hq and start getting those uh, ruses back up because ruses are what keep you in a game especially against air you need to cover your buildings up at all times it looks like right now that team one um scx and uh it's Amir are just trying to grind out a victory that's all they're really trying to do they're just sitting back and waiting until the, the bombing run happens or anything to try and grind a victory out uh there is no income the only income i don't know how much money uh wolfie and uh Strauss must have because right now they're just sitting there with admins uh non-stop and uh i don't understand there's actually f another admin i missed right there he has another admin i just don't understand what they're waiting for to be honest i don't know if they're waiting for matt to go uh, mad matt to go down or or what i'm going to speed this up actually i don't understand what's going on right now why they're all just sitting there doing nothing maybe they're talking it over or something if, if i were to be honest if i were uh if I were uh, Strahd right now and uh, Wolfie, I would actually go right for a bomb. Ah, he see he's being smart, but now it's camouflage. It might go down. Oh, it actually, wow, it does go down from those three. Was those f only three priests? Three priests just took down that that base, that proto base. That was actually a great volley. That was pretty incredible. Uh, now there will be no more Robo wins at all. There, there's there's still a radio silence and uh, and a uh, camouflage net on this area but uh that proto base being taken out is means no more uh, mazes and no more Werbel wins those are the two units that would probably most likely be worrying Stronsberg. and now that Stronsberg sees that there's no more mouses gonna be coming out he is gonna start massing those jacksons uh as soon as that unit come that that goes down five jacksons immediately come out and play and uh they're gonna need to actually start bombing these mouses if they can take these two mouses out with for sure, easily all of these units right here will be able to take out those two mouses, no problem, if they just carpet bomb the crap out of uh, these two. And somehow Mad Matt, this whole time, has actually just stolen an HQ and an artillery base, but he's trying to make something, he's trying to make uh, anti-air bunkers and anti-infantry uh, bunkers. This one's stuck. Uh, the game is, if there's a unit there... If there's actually, but he loses them both or instantly, and he loses both bases instantly. He actually loses both bases, and he loses all of his, uh, of his, uh, yeah, his outpost. Trying to make a machine gun nest, and he tried to make a, uh, AA nest right off the bat, but he lost everything very quickly, uh, just because of the fact that he was getting spammed to infantry again. So Mad Matt still trying. Uh, with 10 minutes left, but he pretty much not win this game uh, for himself and his team. I uh, just I don't understand uh, what uh, really the red team team two really needs to start pushing uh, right now. Uh, their opponent has nothing. Uh, if they can, if they just double team right here, they just start completely massing on this side. They will take it out. I don't know if they're waiting for the camouflage net. Or, or something. I don't know what they're really waiting for. For it to go away, I guess. So they can keep uh, striking it down. If they just send a couple of recon planes, they can. if they drop these Werble Winds, there's only three Werble Winds in play. All they have to do is send all their bombers to one Werble Wind, take it out. Have another bombing run, send that all to the next Werble Wind, take that out. And then send the next Werble Wind, take that out. Then they're pretty much home free because they can just start spamming air non-stop and they'll take everything out and it'll be pretty much GG from there on.